Hi there everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at this fella. This is called an eel trap. I got this one on eBay, I shall put the link to it in the video description. It's basically a two part thing. It's two sides of this cage, which more or less clip together, but not very securely. I've actually cable tied it around here. That was a canny size fish. <laughs> Probably is my big sturgeon. Anyway, it's got three funnels on there, which screw off to give you access to get whatever you've caught out. And that's a cracking idea. These aren't very expensive, but they are some, well, depending on where you get them from, they do cost more than the standard sort of spring type of, uh, like string, I don't know, I don't know what the hell you call it. The ordinary sort of crayfish traps that you would buy, which you can also catch fish in. With this, I'm gonna chuck it in my pond. In fact, I'm gonna chuck two of them in my pond. Uh, first of all, I'll load it up with some fish pellets. I'll come back to it in about three hours and we'll see how effective it is. Throw a few of those in. I've attached a bit of paracord to the front of it. I'll sling this in, come back to it in a bit. We'll see if I've caught anything. Now, some people might think that doing this experiment is a total waste of time. However, it most definitely isn't because there could come a day when you need to catch fish or crayfish, which are like a little freshwater lobster. They're a really good source of protein and this may enable you to do it very easily without really any effort whatsoever. And if you're hungry, you don't want to be wasting calories running around trying to catch food. So I've just found out that these are neutrally buoyant. They tend to just float on the top. So into here, just chucking a couple of stones. Awesome, it sinks now. Having this easily removable front so you can get into whatever you've caught is a really good idea. So I do like the design of these. Oh, yeah, just hide that straight in off the end there. Very good, we'll just tie this off and we'll come back to it in about three or four hours. Almost three hours have elapsed, so I think it's time to check the traps. Starting with number one. Nothing. Oh, hello. This one's caught something. One crayfish. Not exactly a meal, but I'm sure if this was in long enough, it would provide a meal. So let's chuck it back and leave it in overnight. Okay, this is the next morning. We'll lift them out again and they surely will have done better by now. Oh, hey up. <laughs> this one just crawled out there. Okay, so we've got one in there. Come here. Come here, you little bugger. Yeah, this one's done a wee bit better. There's four in here. One. Whoop. Ah, oh, drop them. Two, never mind that, come here. Three, four. It's not a bad result. So from two of these, overnight, we had five crayfish. It's not exactly going to feed a family of four, but it's going to supplement a diet if we ever need it to. So there you go, those eel traps that I bought from eBay work. 
I've seen them on YouTube and so on catching eels so I know they work for eels they also work for crayfish so that's worth bearing in mind if you live next to a body of water that has crayfish in and you're worried about eating in the next six months to a year whilst we're having these so-called food crises nature provides and if you've got a way of exploiting that then you're never gonna starve thanks for watching see you next time and the link to these is in the video description check it out